Who are you apart from the ministry you do? Who are you apart from the thing that you do? That's a that's a that's a hard question to answer because it it takes a little bit of sober judgment and a willingness to really observe who you are apart from the things that you do, whether you're a coach, whether you're a worship leader, whether you're a ministry leader, a pastor, even a stay-at-home mom, who are you apart from what you do? How do you view God in the middle of it? How do you handle when things don't go your way? What's the posture of your heart towards people when things don't go your way? So many people right now are addicted to ministry. They're addicted to the thing that they're doing. They find life in what they're doing. And sometimes it can be a mask that they hide behind. I know as a a former baseball player and a pastor, I used to hide behind those masks. I found my identity in what I did. And when I didn't do well as a baseball player, I felt like it really affected my self-esteem. And and when I did well, I was on top of the world. If I went three for three and didn't make any errors, I, I was feeling pretty good about myself. But if I botched the ball around, if I struck out looking, I, I feel like I was I was pretty miserable. I want to ask you, what happens when things don't go your way? Who are you apart from what you do? You know, worship leaders, and I said this a little bit Sunday night to the gathering, worship leaders can really hide behind their instruments. Worship leaders can hide behind the tools that they've been given. What does it look like for you to be really honest, even tonight, with where you are? 